Welcome to the NPTE Final Frontier Podcast, helping one student at a time. Visit NPTEFF.com to enroll today so you can pass tomorrow. Thank you for joining us here on the NPTE Final Frontier Podcast. My name is David. And my name is Emily. Today, we will be discussing diabetes and the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. So diabetes mellitus, which is more commonly referred to as diabetes, is a chronic disorder caused by either deficient insulin or defective insulin production in the body, which is characterized by hyperglycemia with disruption of carbohydrate, fat, and protein metabolism. This condition may be acquired autoimmune, genetic, environmental, or due to an individual's ethnicity. Diabetes is more prevalent in the following ethnicities, Native American, Hispanic or Latin, Native Hawaiian, or Pacific Islanders. So there are two types of diabetes, which include type 1 and type 2. So first, type 1. Type 1 is when an individual is insulin dependent, which usually occurs with a juvenile onset. Insulin secretion will be affected and the pancreas is not producing enough insulin. The onset age is usually under the age of 30 years old. Symptoms of diabetes include polyphagia, weight loss, ketoacidosis, polyuria, polydipsia, blurred vision, and dehydration. Type 2 diabetes is when an individual is insulin resistant. This is due to slightly below or above normal insulin production with inadequate insulin utilization. So again, type one is insulin dependent and type two is insulin resistant. So back to type two. Type two diabetes onset age is usually above the age of 35 years old with the history of obesity or potentially a poor diet. Symptoms for type 2 diabetes are similar to type 1, but the main difference is that there is no occurrence of ketoacidosis. So if right now you're trying to figure out what all those different signs and symptoms are and what those meanings are, now would be a great time to go back into your notes to review all of those definitions. Great explanation, Emily. Now, since we cover the different types, how about we look at the different signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia? All right, we're going to kick it off with the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia has a sudden onset of incurrence. A patient may present with sympathetic activity. They can also appear with pallor or perspiration, irritability or nervousness, weakness, hunger, shakiness, central nervous system activity, a headache, double or blurry vision, slurred speech, fatigue, confusion, convulsion, or even a coma. The patient may have a a blood glucose level less than 70. When treating a patient who enters a hypoglycemic state, provide them with fruit juice, such as orange juice, or you can provide them with some honey. Let's move on to the signs and symptoms of hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia has a gradual onset of occurrence. The patient may present with an increased level of thirst, polyuria, quickly progressing to decreased urine output, volume depletion due to polyuria, which will cause renal insufficiency, severe dehydration, lethargy or confusion, seizures, coma, or even abdominal pain and distension. The patient may present with a blood glucose level greater than 300. Now that you understand 
the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia versus hyperglycemia. Here is a quote from Jerry Rice. Today, I will do what others won't. So tomorrow, I can accomplish what others can't. That's right, warriors. Keep on pursuing your dreams. Don't hold back and go after it. Accomplish what you want and go seize it. You are powerful. You are strong. You are a final frontier warrior, and you will pass. Thank you very much for listening. For more information on NPTE Final Frontier, please visit NPTEFF.com. You can also check out all of our social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Till next time, have a great day and a powerful tomorrow.